The United States Amateur Championships in Boxing were just completed recently, and joining us is the middleweight champion and the best uh, middleweight in the United States, Terrell Gachet, joining us. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that is, a, that is a real nice piece of hardware there. <laughs> Thanks, man. And you're a local product. Yeah. From Glenville, tell us about your background. Uh, well, I come up in Glenville, Glenville High School. You know, I started boxing at Glenville Rec, you know, now. Now I'm with East Cleveland Boxing Gym and um, Martin Luther King Civic Center. What got you started in boxing rather than going, you know, Glenville known for football? Uh, it's just always been a part, always been in my blood. I always wanted to do it when I was younger and stuff. So it just went in there one day and it was history. So I stayed, stayed with it. Now, Terrell, how tall are you? I'm five ten and a half. Now, I understand the guy you beat for the national championship was 6'3". Yeah, he was pretty tall. Tell us about that fight. Yeah. Now, that was, uh, that's against Jesse Hart? Jesse Hart, Okay, yeah. tell us about that fight. That fight, uh, come, going in that fight, he was pretty tall, so I had to work my way in the inside, you know, and I, I sparred with Willie Nelson a lot. He was about the same height, you know, in my gym, so I just worked, got in the inside, working, you know, to the body, broke him down a little bit, and then came out with the victory. Mm -hmm. He was a good boxer, though. You know, Cleveland has a great reputation for oh, developing yeah. young boxers like yourself. Yeah, it's good to be coming out of Cleveland because there's a lot of people that open up doors, like Renell Williams. He went to the 2008 Olympics. Yeah, in know, Beijing. In Beijing, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of great fighters out of Cleveland. Now, what's the key for you? The next step for you was going, were you going in uh, uh, Milan, Italy? Milan, Italy, yeah. That's August. the world championships. The world. Worlds, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the key to winning the title there? I mean, international competition. This is something new to you, right? Yeah, it's something new to me. Um, the key to winning is just doing what I've been doing and stay focused and trying to, you know, um, keep stick to the game plan and just work hard. Now, this video is from uh, you in oh, April. This is the Golden Gloves Championship, yeah. and your opponents. Uh, Wilkins Santiago, is that right? Right, right. Now, a lot of people said that this was a close fight, that either one of you could have gotten the decision. Right. You agree or disagree with that? I agree with that. It was a, well, it was a tough fight. We was matching each other punch for punch. You know, um, he a tough fighter, but I pulled out the victory. When are the uh, championships in Milan? It's uh, August 23rd, I believe. What, now, what? tell us about your training program between now and then, Terrell. Uh, real rigorous. We we uh, do a lot of running. You know, my coach, Safo, he, he trains us, you know, he trains us real hard. We uh, we do a lot of sparring. You know, I got good, great sparring partners. Um, Willie Nelson, Prentice Brewer, and Yandale Evans. That's all I need to win, yeah. Give us your normal day. A normal day in the gym. What time you, What time do you start? You, what, you wake up and... Uh, Wake, you, have, you have breakfast? Wake up, have breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast? Well, sometimes just eat eggs, you know, uh, bacon, cereal, or something like that. I wish I could eat eggs and bacon. <laughs> You're a little younger than me, but uh, all right, so then what? Uh, then I wake up, I do my stretches, go run, hit the, hit the track, probably get like five miles in, you know. You run five miles every morning? Yeah, not every other morning. Sometimes I mix it up with sprints and stuff like that, but every other morning, yeah. What do you do, like 40s? Oh uh, yeah, 40s. Um, uh -huh. Like take a minute rest, do it again. A minute right. rest, do it again, like that. Okay. Yeah. And then what? And then like 5:30 to 8, we work out at the gym, and we we do a like weights and jumping rope, jumping rope, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Working on the punching bag. Punching bag, speed bag, all that. Right, right. The body bag. Mm-hmm. And Sparring. then you get into the ring and you spar. Spar, yeah. That's my favorite part about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the uh, that that's the payback for all the hard training, right? <laughs> you know, boxing training. I interviewed Angelo Dundee. I, okay. Remember when we interviewed Angelo Dundee, Gino? That was uh, when we were at WKNR. You remember that? Yep. He was um, Dundee's tr uh, was uh, Ali's trainer. Okay. And he was a trainer of many other championship fighters besides Ali. And you know what he, he you know what he said in that interview to me that always it stuck with me. He said that Muhammad Ali mm -hmm. by far. Right. trained harder than any other fighter he had ever been affiliated with. And he said, that's the way, that's the reason why 
Ali was the greatest in right. the world and one of the greatest of all time. Right. The biggest part about boxing is the gym training, preparing for a fight. You actually win a fight in the gym. You know, it's all about how much you train and dedicate yourself to what you're doing. Yeah. Well, listen, we're all behind you, uh, not only because you're an American, but uh, a Clevelander. Cleveland, rep yeah. Representing our uh, community, and right. uh, um, best of luck to you. Go get them over there. All right, thanks. All right, Terrell Gachet representing Cleveland and uh, the U.S. in the World Championships coming up in Milan, Italy. Keep us posted. Now. Okay. All right, go get them. All right. Ashley Collins is next. She's got an STO Sports Update.